waves. You surely would have observed that if you drop a little pebble in a pond of still water, the water surface gets disturbed. The disturbance does not remain confined to one place but propagates outward along a circle. If you continue dropping pebbles in the pond, you see circles rapidly moving outward from a point where the water surface is disturbed. It gives a feeling as if the water is moving outward from the point of disturbance. Here you can see a high definition video showing the formation of ripples in the water that is propagating in the outward direction along a circle. If you put a cork piece on the disturbed water surface, it is seen that the cork piece moves up and down but does not move away from the center of disturbance. This shows that the water mass does not flow outward with the circles but rather a moving disturbance is created. Similarly, when we speak, the sound moves outward from us without any flow of air from one part of the medium to another. The disturbances produced in air are much less obvious and only our ears or a microphone can detect them. These patterns, which move without the actual physical transfer or flow of matter as a whole, are called waves. Waves transport energy and the pattern of disturbance has information that propagates from one point to another. And do you know, not all waves require a medium for their propagation. Light waves can travel through vacuum. That is, a light wave does not require a medium for its propagation. Do you know, the light emitted by stars which are hundreds of light years away, reaches us through interstellar space, which is practically a vacuum. The most familiar type of waves, such as waves on a string, water waves, sound waves, seismic waves, etc. are the so-called mechanical waves. These waves require a medium for propagation, that is, they cannot propagate through vacuum. They involve oscillations of constituent particles and depend on the elastic properties of the medium.